everything is fine, stream is fine, your connection is fine. It's just how this game runs on console. It's going to be like that sometimes. Uh, and also, timing is not going to start as soon as I hit new game. Timing is going to start when I do first input. I'll give a countdown, and then we'll start the timer. But for now, why don't I go ahead and introduce you guys to this game real fast. Or you folks. Sorry, excuse me. Welcome. Don't let my sultry and mysterious voice startle you. For hundreds, nay, thousands, nay, 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 tens of thousands of years, people have come to me in search of what they desire most. Few find what they are looking for. Even fewer ever leave. Welcome to the cave. That's me, the cave. Yes, yes, I'm a talking cave. D -d 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 Don't laugh. It makes dating hell. Besides, I have a really interesting story to tell you this evening, so pay attention. It's a story of seven people and a glimpse into a dark place in each of their hearts. But be careful before you judge. There is a dark place in your heart as well. Someday you will find yourself descending my depths in search of what you desire. And you might not like what you find either. But enough about you. This is about them. All right, and in three, two, one, go. So the cave, to quickly explain what this game is real fast, uh, there we go. Uh, the cave is a puzzle platforming game developed by Double Fine and published by Sega in uh, 2013, and in 2018 it was actually removed from uh, console uh, online console stores and everything like that, which leads to what you're about to see today. Uh, <laughs> you, like the cave said in the beginning, you can play as any three of seven characters. Uh, we're picking uh, the knight, the time traveler, and the twins. I'll get into why we do that when they come up. And we're going to descend the cave to find what they desire most. Um, there's about six puzzles that you have to do in the game. We're going to skip two of them. Uh, and to quickly explain why the category is called Legacy, I guess we're done. like I mentioned, oh, uh, we? when the game was yeah, pulled, the Double Fine decided that they didn't want to keep up with uh, patching the game anymore. So there's a handful of bugs and glitches that are still in the game that aren't present in the Steam release anymore. Uh, you also can't down patch the Steam release. So... These are all console, ex console exclusive tricks here. But for right now, we're going to use the Time Traveler's ability here to teleport. We're going to go through this wall right here. And we're going to go ahead and set up uh, a lot of the solutions to our first puzzle here. Uh, the primary reason why we grab these characters is because... Okay, there we go. That teleport can be a little precarious. You can't just go straight into the pit right there. Um, the reason why we go with these characters in particular is because their puzzles are the fastest with the abilities that we have. Um, and also their abilities are just generally really good. The Time Traveler in particular, as you can see, lets you teleport through uh, certain doors and objects and the like. Really quick, we're going to go over to this well right here. Start that up, and then we're going to take the knight into the thing that every cave has, the gift shop. And then really quick... Oh, I switched the wrong character. Whoops. Doesn't mean that much time, I just switch over here. Uh, grab the bucket. And now while the cave clerk, or the gift shop clerk, is giving his little spiel to the knight, we're going to go ahead and keep setting up for this puzzle. And that clatter means that the key is now ready. The giant novelty sized key. More or less useful than the keyblade on your wall. I mean, depending on who you ask. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now we're just gonna head in down here. We got a fuse from the leaky uh, area up there. 
We're gonna activate this hot dog vending machine, the thing that, again, every cave has. If your local cave doesn't have a hot dog vending machine, there's a problem. I should probably wire him. I think he's dipping into the Here. Activate it once again. The knight's gonna take the fuse box here. And before we can progress in the cave, the gift shop clerk lets us know that we need to get three items that he can sell. That are, if I remember right, the items that he's looking for are three other items that people went into the cave to get. So we'll see those in just a moment. But right now it's just some quick uh, puzzle solving and, and things like that. So if you have any time for donations, now's a good time. No new donations currently, but if you want to see either the good ending or the bad ending, that incentive is open right now. Right now, it looks like the good ending is winning. If yes. you want to see that flip, or if we want to solidify that, let's get those donations in. The good ending it just makes me so happy. The artwork for it is just so adorable, for the twins in particular. Uh, I'll drop this here. So something you may have just seen me do there, uh, me getting Thanos snapped into Oblivion, you're gonna see me do that a handful of times here, um, just across the whole game. Uh, the game has a self-destruct feature. When you use it, it te uh, teleports you to the last checkpoint you were at. So we're gonna take advantage of that to skip back, uh, to skip on walking a whole bunch, uh, wherever we can. And then, oh, well, uh, it doesn't matter. Let's grab that. It's just not how I prefer to do that, but we'll live. Head down here, and we're going to grab this cursed guitar. And we're going to head back up here. And you might have, if you were quick enough, you might have seen me push the hot dog machine again. There's our second hot dog. Uh, don't worry about that, we'll get it later. Uh, side note, I hope everyone has a hot dog emote or emoji at the ready, or any kind of equivalent. It's going to be very prevalent later. We're going to get very familiar with that hot dog. But for He's now, a hot dog a sandwich. Uh, yes. <laughs> no, no hesitation. Just yes. <laughs> when you I really like think, conviction. when you really think about it, a hot dog is just ingredients between two pieces of bread, and a bun. I think could count as two pieces of bread. A hot dog is a taco, but is a taco also a sandwich? Uh, really minor uh, speed optimiza uh, optimization I did there. If you mash the interact button when the clerk is giving his uh, dialogue about the trinkets that he gets, you can immediately get him to open up the door, which saves a little bit of time. Also, we now have our hot dog. Well, Everyone, remember, you have a hot dog. It we all have hot dogs now. So just keep it in mind. We have this hot dog. I promise it's important. I have high hopes for this group. And now what we're coming up. Oh, oh, I think they may I forgot to activate the ability. Here. I should probably get them That's out. real quick. Nothing scares away the tourists like a rotting corpse. And then we're gonna put the knight here. And this is the made one of the major glitches that was patched out of the PC um, patch on Steam. This out of bounds here. We clip out of bounds with the twins. We head across over here. Again, there's gonna be some stuttering. Everything's fine. And now we're at the end of the night's puzzle. Mialskevich, thank you for the raid. You have come by just in time for hot dogs. You've come by just at the perfect time for hot dogs. Uh, but we just get the night's puzzle there. The way that they patched that out in the PC release is that pipe that I climbed into, they just smacked a kill plane onto it. So now anyone that tries to jump in there dies. Uh, I just because you can uh, mistimed lever, that jump a little bit, should. but that's not that much time lost. Uh, so now all we're going to do is we're going to climb down to the bottom the of this cavern here to solve our actual uh, second puzzle. Uh, after this, we're going to have the next puzzle that we skip, and then we have <laughs> two more puzzles, and the game's Trust done. Me, As you can see, we're already flying through this. Ominous? Ominous. Yeah, I no, think I yeah. just got... Yeah. Oh, Let's see really lost. quick. No, I didn't get it. Okay. I found uh, a bit of... 
what's good for you. Leave it uh, a optimization that you can get in here the other day the way that the checkpoint system in this game works like where it determines is when the character crosses by close enough to the ground like the ground that you can stand on uh i found out that if you are uh if you're further enough along the wall by the entrance to this mine oh okay <laughs> that was that was unusual I have not seen it stutter there before. Uh, if you... So if you're not touching the ground by where a checkpoint would be, uh, it'll actually register you as your previous checkpoint. So in this case, if I had gotten it, instead of having to do all this climb back up here, my previous checkpoint would be right where the twins and the time traveler are standing. So... What would have happened is when I self-destruct, it would just take me all the way back up there. But I've not been able to get it consistently. I've only seen it happen exactly once. But now we're going to grab this. I'm going to have the knight pop up here. Put the twins down here. If they die, they'll hit that checkpoint, and it's fine. All I'm really doing here is just setting up for the puzzle here, just so we can do it quicker. We're going to use the knight's ability to gain invulnerability. We're going to grab this shovel. And then we're not going to worry about the hot dog or the dynamite. Don't worry, we still have the hot dog. Do not forget the hot dog. <laughs> the jump distance in this game can be a little finicky, but uh, when it works, it works <laughs> most of the time. Fun fact about that ledge that I jumped on there, there's a kill plane there. Uh, if you somehow manage to clip inside of it, the game will immediately kill you. I found that out again so the, the, the hard way. Were right. So there here we're just going to have the knight run back a little bit, switch to the twins. If you don't switch back to the twins before you get in here, you can't do the sequence I'm about to do. Where you smack that. We're going to get some dialogue from the coal miner once again. In terms of plot, what's happening here, the miner's been stuck in this cave for a while, and all he wants is his mine cars back. So we have to get him three. One of gold, one of meat, and then this empty one that the twins are in right now. And it's a good thing we set up this dynamite here earlier, because now we just grab it. And we're going to move on to the next... Uh, we're going to move on to the next mine car that we do. Or that we're going to grab. going to grab this drop it here and while we wait for it to explode we're gonna have time traveler come up and then the time traveler is gonna do some sick parkour just hop up over here fun fact even with the ladder she actually can't jump back over that platform there bring this down to about here Activate that. And now we're going to skip a cutscene here by mashing the character select option. So normally the camera would pan straight over to the gold, but if we just mash on the character selection, it'll skip that cutscene entirely and we can just keep moving. And now this is the only other puzzle that we have to solve straight up uh, here. And then we're going to come into one of the, another one of the really big skips of the run. Pop up here. And then here I have to position the twins just right so that they don't die. Because if they do, they'll go back to that checkpoint in front of the puddle of water that we used earlier. So it's better just to have them here. To quickly explain the other abilities, because I know I've been using the knights a lot. I'm about to use the twins. Uh, and I haven't explained what they do. 
The knight gives him full invulnerability, so he can't die. The twins can make a duplicate of themselves, holding their exact position and having their same weight. So we're going to take advantage of that for this pretty basic elevator puzzle here. And then we're going to push the cart of meat over here. Twins are going to self-destruct again. Wait. I did that out of order. I was thinking ahead. There we go. And now we're done with the miner's puzzle. Uh, really quick, is there any uh, any other donations or anything that you want to plug? We are awaiting donations, and if people are looking for maybe a little bit of extra incentive to donate, not that they should need it, but there are prizes involved. So, <laughs> as little as five dollars uh, is enough to get you entered to win these prizes. They are offered by the Fastest First community. You can use the command donate in chat to make the donation, and if you want to see what those prizes are, the command exclamation guy. prizes will give you a full list of those prizes that are available. Obtaining the thing you desire most isn't always as hard as it's made Alrighty. out to be, but it will change you. Also, remember to donate for the bid war. Is what's hard. Because as much as I like the gold, the the good, uh, the good ending winning. Let's push that even further. Let's win even more. <laughs> uh, we're coming up now onto the major skip of one of the major skips of this run. Uh, I know how part of it works. There's one part, I'll get to it. I just straight up don't know how it works. So coming up right here, focus a little bit, because this is a pretty close to a frame perfect trick here. I speak of those darling children, the twins. It doesn't lose me too much time if I don't get it, because uh, I can just self destruct and then try again. And you enjoy making soup. <laughs> okay. This part is a little tricky. <laughs> Normally it does not take me this long to get it. There we go. Okay. So, there's a concept in a lot of platforming games, and you may have heard about this in other platforming runs, called Coyote Time, uh, where you have a handful of frames or so when you're standing off of a ledge where the game will let you jump again. Uh, that is really exploitable in this build of the cave. Uh, we can do it with uh, the Time Traveler's teleport ability pretty much over any ledge. Um, and they completely removed Coyote Time for her when she's using no her teleport in the PC patch. The uh, as for what we just did there, exactly normally what's supposed to happen when you run stone, into so to speak. <laughs> uh, the twin's <laughs> father, because that was the twin's puzzle that we just skipped. Uh, what's normally supposed to happen is he tells you, hey, you need to wait until you've had dinner before you can go outside. And then it pushes you back into the house. If you teleport behind him, it pushes you towards the exit door. My working theory is less of the game was programmed, oh, you have to, we're going to push you away from the dad, or we're going to push you into the house, and more of we're going to push you away from the dad. So, since we're a little bit further behind him than we would be ahead of him, where he would push us into the house, Instead, it pushes us to the exit, and we can teleport through the exit. But now we're coming on to the Time Traveler's puzzle. And Captain Kate, really quick question. Uh, the the stuff to you use to open a door, to like unlock a door, um, what what's that called? I'm forgetting the name. Are we talking about a key here? Uh, no, we're talking about a smurg. Uh, <laughs> of course, of course. Of course, Obvi obviously, obviously. That, okay. So, this fall is a little bit tricky, uh, but, okay, that's not ideal. There, the timing for this is a little tight, there we go. Uh, but the fall is just high enough that if we just fall down normally we would die, but if we're hanging off the ledge and fall down, uh, we don't. And we're gonna take advantage of that to get farted on by a cardboard cutout of a dinosaur. 
This this will make sense in a second, I promise. Um, and also, he had too many hot dogs. It, he had way too many hot dogs. Uh, and also, just really quick, uh, I should have brought it up before. There's a quick flashing light warning for um, the time traveler's puzzle because we're going to be seeing that flashing effect a little bit here. So, photosensitive might be a good idea to kind of look away for a little bit. Um, but for now, we're just going to solve this pretty normally. Uh, solution here is we're going to, whatever effect happens in the past affects the present and the future. We're going to drag this here. The sediment that was blocking the way to the puzzle is now gone. Whoops. Uh, I'm playing this on a PS4 controller, and the D-pad is a little sensitive. Uh, and now we're going to oh, nice. bring... Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna bring the twins and the knight into the future. There's a handful of spots where I have to stop doing the switch that I'm doing to move them at the same time because the game will only let them stutter step for whatever reason. We're gonna leave the twins by the smurg. And remember the barrel that we stole from the... from the miner? It's gonna come into effect here. But now we're back in the past. I should've done that a little bit earlier. So now we're going to head down, and we still have the stink of the dinosaur, we still smell like hot dog. Which, that was, that's a prophetic joke, that's foreshadowing. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're going to fall down here, again, same concept, got a first try there. Oh wait, actually, I have to set this up first, I'm thinking two steps ahead. Sorry, it's been a hot minute since I've done a marathon run, so jitters. Uh, We're gonna move this over here first. Now we're gonna do the fall. Come on. There we go. And the dinosaur sees us, smells us, sees us dissolved into atoms. And don't look at the screen. Nothing, nothing happened. No, he's fine. He's just taking a nap. Everything's fine. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Uh, so now we have oil. R.I.P. the dinosaurs. And now we're going to use this oil to power up this elevator. Or sorry, the Dino Hypernator as the car engine. And we're going to get this wheel. So, to quickly explain the plot of the Time Traveler's puzzle, the Time Traveler is trying to correct a mistake that happened in her timeline, which is she did not get greatest employee of all time at her museum that she works at. So she decides, I'm going to go back in time, find the greatest employee of all time's distant relative, and just have a nice conversation with him to kind of teach him to teach discipline, teach respect, because the current greatest employee of all time is just rubbing her nose in it. And, but he's too focused on trying to build the wheel. So we're going to give him something to give him a little bit of a starting point, like an idea. So we're just going to use this, the knight, to move the wheel over here. And then minor optimization, uh, after the wheel drops, it's going to start a cutscene. Just before it starts, I'm going to switch over to the time traveler. Alrighty. Now, uh, you, you might be wondering what's about to happen. We're gonna have just a nice, heavy conversation. That's all that happened. Nothing happened. Nothing, that. nothing happened. All of that poor uh, once again, we have the key. <laughs> Well, what's done is done. Uh, no Th Thog just taking a very, very long nap. Around with the timeline some more. You know, time machines and really take the fun out of trying to teach hard lessons. Two more flashes, and the flashing lights are done. I just want to, I just want to talk. That's all we're doing. We're just talking. We're gonna give the knight the hot dog. I hope you remembered the hot dog. I'm sure y'all did, because you're intelligent, and that's what I appreciate about all of you. And now we're just gonna keep on walking, we're gonna keep on moving. 
So any plugs or anything like that, now is the best time. Excellent. Well, of course, we don't want to forget about the bid war that is going on. Good ending versus bad ending. But I do also want to mention that we've got something cool. We have three brand new marathon shirts that are exclusive to Fall Fest 2022 this year. That is unisex and women's options. And all of these are designed by artists within the Fastest Furs community. Uh, you can use the command merch in chat for a link to the merch store. You can check out these designs from Arukun 14, Hecky, and Flux. Shirts are 20 bucks, and all those proceeds from merch sales are going to be donated to Trans Lifeline. Ah, the zoo. Get the merch, get the donations, get that bid war. You guys got this. And uh, as you can have seen now, uh, the time traveler is dead. Uh, we have lost the time traveler, dead, this never coming back. But this is also where the hot dog comes into play. Never like zoos. This hot dog that we've been holding on to for about 20 minutes. Uh, so, turns out. This guy really likes hot dogs. And he can smell our hot dog smell, which is probably why he went after the Time Traveler in the first place. And, oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. And now we're gonna follow. I'm gonna hop up here. I'm gonna leave the hot dog behind. Steal the hot dogs instead. <laughs> Funny you should say that. That's actually the, the original salute, the intended solution to that puzzle. But because we brought that hot dog from the start, we can just use it and uh, bypass the puzzle entirely. Hey, anyone know any sea shanties? Ninety-nine bottles of beer on the wall. Now, if anybody knows any beer, sea shanties, now is the perfect time. A bar song than a sea shanty. Ooh, I've got one. Ninety-nine bottles of rum on the wall. Ninety-nine bottles of rum. Mm -hmm. If someone donates enough, I won't say what enough is. I might sing a sea shanty if you include it in your donation message. Someone just includes the entire text of "Leave her, Johnny, leave her." <laughs> I thought you were going to say the B movie script. <laughs> I'm rescued. Uh, After years on this blasted island, but now we're on to the final puzzle of the game. There's one more, like, kind of puzzle, but it's more of like a platforming challenge. Um, there's three of us, and there's only three seats on the boat, and the hermit really wants to get off of the island. But we can't have that happen. We, we, we exactly just, we just can't. So, <laughs> we gotta find a way to sneak the boat across without being noticed. So really quick here, we're just gonna switch around the characters a bit. I'm gonna have the twins grab this pirate flag here. I'm gonna have the knight leave that pipe right there. We actually want that because that's where our next checkpoint is gonna be for uh, dying. I'm hitting a circle here to grab that just because if I hit square, it'll open up that cave painting and lose us a tiny bit of time. I'm not sure how to break it to that adorable old hermit, but their boat only seats three people. Might I suggest to our three friends? We're hopping up around this way because there's another checkpoint right by that ladder, so oh wait. I definitely knew where I was going. I definitely practiced this game, I promise. <laughs> Hop up here, grab this. Grab this piece once again. Death abuse here. That, and then hop back up here to grab the straight pipe. And now we're going to actually go down this ladder here. And since we left the Time Traveler with the boat, she can just push it into here. And as the water level fills up, it'll move the boat over. We're going to take advantage of that time to get her over to the next flag. Because we have to pull three of them to get a bomb that we need in a little bit. Also, you may have seen the Time Traveler is able to float across water. That's the one set of water right there that she actually can't. The game is straight up coded that you have to fall into that water for the final bit of this puzzle that happens later. I have to remember my button layout. I'm getting mixed up all of a sudden. 
But now, once again, we're just going to move the boat across. Oh, no, I don't want the water valve, please. The targeting in this game is impeccable. Drop it in here. And then very quickly, we're just going to slot this water or this pipe into where it needs to go for this elevator. Because we do need a bone that we're going to grab in just a second. Yep, there we go. Right here. And then coming up here, just a very quick uh, minor volume warning. This part can be a little loud, but it tends to get muffled. So if you want to play it safe and you're wearing headphones, just turn down a tiny, tiny bit. But all we're going to do is roll this into the heart of the volcano, and it's going to do what all, uh, all residual just nearby heat does. It's going to ignite a fuse. Yeah, here we go. And we're going to move this all the way over here. And we're going to die in the process. And somehow the hermit did not hear any of this. I don't understand how, but here we are. <laughs> He's just engr really engrossed in that game of chess. Or maybe the dog is just bribing him with a hot dog just to stay focused. Pull this lever here, and we're going to push this over to the elevator that we just set up with the water pipe. Hop on up. Activate this, and then while it goes up, we're going to switch over to the Time Traveler. We're going to wait a little bit, because if we're standing too close to the ledge, it's going to cause some lag. But now that it's all the way up, all we do is just this, and we're good to go. Switch to the Knight. Oh, that's the Twins, not the Knight. And we're going to have the Knight start making his way back over. And, the tw and then the Time Traveler needs this. Trouble with a capital T, which so I'll start to get back D, up here. Stands for hermit. And now for the main pro the main problem here. The hermit heard us, but so how are we gonna trouble. get him across? Trouble with a capital H Although it appears he's missing hermit. something kind of important. There. Who has he been playing chess with this whole time? The Dow. Also, can we get some dog emotes for Spanky? Just look at him. He's adorable. I want to see all the dogs in chat. So many dogs, please. And now for the part that's kind of annoying playing this game casually. You have to get the you have to get the parrot across the island without dying or falling in water. So we're going to give we're going to bribe Spanky with the bone. Spanky's going to start barking. And now the parrot is barking like a dog to remind the Hermit of one really important thing here. How dare. Speaking of dogs, my dog is currently sleeping on the futon behind me. Aww. <laughs> she is... Very supportive. Uh, she's, she, she's doing her best. And now we're just going to get everyone onto the boat. And the reason why I'm doing it in this order of the Time Traveler, the Twins, and the Knight is because once the second character gets in, uh, the third character will just be brought straight to the checkpoint. I'm no lawyer, but maritime law clearly allows for the abandonment of annoying hermits. And really, right, and now, one last time, now is the best time for any plugs, and this is also going to be the last chance that y'all have for uh, sniping the ending, because that's coming up in a, like a few minutes, like three, four minutes. Last chance, chat. We had a bid war earlier that was made by one dollar, so I want to see that again. I want something real close. 
If you want to push the end, the good ending ahead by a little bit, now's your chance. If you want to snipe the bad ending, go for it. Now's your moment. And now, as you can see, the gift, the clerk for the gift shop has all of the items that we desire most. The sword, the rat poison, and the greatest employee of all time award. You didn't happen to run into an annoying clown, did you? That doesn't matter. We just got a new shipment of trinkets that should satisfy your every desire. But I can't give them to you without suitable replacements. And now we have the smurg once again. key again and open the employee's back entrance. I'm sure you'll find some treasures worthy of the cave's gift shop. And now we're going to take advantage again of the time traveler's ability. I'm only going to send the time traveler head a little bit here uh, before we open up the gate, because we do need to open up the gate for them to spawn with us uh, at the checkpoint. Get that open, and while it's opening, we're going to continue on. And now we're going to find the three other items that these that these other people in the cave have desired the most. Fall down here in the now lava filled cavern instead of water. And you might see some familiar faces in here from our time in the cave. Most notably though, the best boy, Spanky. And we're just holding them under our arm like a little handbag. Okay. We're gonna steal the miner's gold. And we didn't see very much of her, but this is the hunter's trophy. And we're gonna steal that. Activate the elevator again to move on up. My favorite part of holding Spanky is if you're climbing up a ladder, because since the back is to the camera, you can see his little tail wagon the entire time. He's just happy to be here. Okay. So I'm going to close the bid war now. What are we doing? It looks like it's going to be the good ending. All right. We're doing the good ending. So now we're just going to hand off Spanky. Fun fact, these lines are RNG completely. We're gonna deny the gift three times to get the good ending. I'll take a second to show off the ending because we have because we're quite a bit underestimate here. Uh the good ending adds about 30 seconds. Spanky is just the happiest little dude. The thing that the thing that's sad though is uh, if you deny the gift or the item, he just disappears from the inventory altogether. I think the game sets it back, but I'm not hundred percent sure. So this is the good ending for the Time Traveler. Thinks back about what we just did and just tries to be humble and gives a nice congratulations. I do want to give a quick heads up. There is a chance that the game can crash here. I don't think its rightful owner will miss it much. So important backstory for the knight. Uh, the knight's not actually a knight. It's a, it's a person that found uh, just some knight armor on the ground one day and threw it on and was then tasked with killing a dragon so you know there's the whole moment of just i not i'm not cut out for this but comes clean and gets the good ending get get gets the gets the reward in the end it works out and the twins they want to go outside and play I'm not going to go into why they need rat poison for that, because that's that's a little that's a little dark. That's a little much. We return the rat poison, and we're gonna end on the wholesome image here. So time is going to come up when I exit out of the uh final scene. I'm up this ladder. They stop the parents from eating the soup. Wholesome hug of just we're sorry. Look at the smiles on their face. And time. Oh wait. Oh, well, technically. Technically that would be time, but for the game you have to climb out of the ladder. 
Uh, you have to climb out of the cave. But yeah, technically speaking, that would be time. <laughs> I did see the flash of 3808, but... Uh, I guess while we're finishing up this ladder climb, uh, quick plug for myself, this is very much the snake eater ladder of indie games. Um, quick plug, uh, thank you to everybody for watching. If you want to watch more of what I do, I stream on my channel on Twitch every now and then. I'm trying to get back into it. Oh, that was weird. I have never this seen that before. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm easing myself back into streaming and I'm learning more speedruns. Currently, I'm actually learning to run Octopath Traveler and I'm working up to do an All Stories and Galdera run. But thank you very much to Fastest First for uh, having me. Thank you to Captain Kate for being a wonderful host and playing along with the antics. And I hope you all enjoy.